Uh, good morning. Welcome to a very early morning at the International Quilt Show in Houston, Texas, fall 2013. I'd like to welcome you to the uh, Moda area in the show where the theme of our booth is Make a Splash with Moda. So we'll be showing you all kinds of different kind of behind the scenes projects that are displayed here today. We have a, a new Moda candy book. Moda candies are two and a half inch uh, mini charm packs. This particular book has 13 projects and uh, all of them use two mini charm packs or less. So here are a few of the projects here. Like this is a little pillow form with embroidery to where you can make some little pillows, quilt, and anyhow, several different quilts that uh, are fun and easy to make for fall projects. Moving on to this is Woodland, Woodland Summer by Holly Taylor. And this is a new pattern by Doug Lico of Antler Quilt Designs. Uh, this is a new quilt from Aditya Sitar of Laundry Basket Quilts. And her collection is uh, Jelly Bean, she has prints and batiks, and she's used those throughout the little quilt. Kari Ming's newest project um, from French General, and her collection is La Bouquet Francais, which is kind of hard to say, fr speak French with a Texas uh, twang to it. So she has three new patterns from this collection, and this is, this is one of them in the medallion style, which is very French. Storybook by Kate and Birdie, and this is a fantastic collection that we have available in both prints and brush fabrics. So a, a perfect easy design for uh, making any kinds of, of baby projects. Uh, this, this particular collection is a new design by Tim and Beck, Bar Bartholomew's Reef, and it actually was the inspiration for our whole entire booth design. It has little swimming cats in it, and so uh, we took the water theme and uh, did Make a Splash with Moda. So we have several other fabric lines, April Showers, Chance of Flowers, and things like that that all definitely fell into the a water theme and concept. This, this quilt is, is featuring a new pre-cut that we have that's called a slice. It is a 10 inch square cut in half diagonally. And so that's how these, these particular patterns, uh, quilt was made, has a real fun uh, technique to doing that. And here's an example of what the slice cut is. And this particular one I'm gonna to show to you in a little bit, but it has the pattern and everything all included in it. Big Tree's newest collection is called Mirabelle, and it was inspired by her trip up the coast when all the orchards were blooming. And so she just fell in love with this uh, particular color palette. So this, this quilt's very easy and fast to make out of a jelly roll, has just a couple little um, applique pieces that are added to it for uh, soft romantic style of quilts that she makes. Uh, Sandy, Sandy Gervais' collection is called Chance of Flowers and again it falls into the water theme that we have going on. Here are three of her new patterns uh, that feature the collection as well as uh, the motor designers did a little schoolhouse session that had all different ABC blocks and Sandy was assigned a U so she created this quilt that says U are my sunshine. So this, this pattern will be available on her um, when we do a blog hop in February. April Showers by Bonnie and Camille. This is one of uh, uh, Camille's newest patterns by Thimble Blossoms and she has it done in a couple of different colorways. This one has the strong polka dot as the sashing and then she has another version that's very soft, just blues and greens with lots of neutrals. There's some, there's some great fun stripes in this particular one that uh, make great bias bindings too, so don't overlook using those stripes. Uh, batiks continue to be a very, very hot item for Moda Fabrics. This particular collection is summer vacation batiks, lots of fun bright fabrics. Uh, the pattern is by Lavender and Lime and just a, a fun, easy, big, quick uh, project to make. Color Me Happy is Vanessa Christensen's newest fabric collection. This particular quilt uses uh, two jelly rolls and just one, one fabric and makes big, white, funky, uh, off-centered stars. It's pieced in little nine patch sections. And then once you have your little nine patch, you're gonna lay on the half square triangle or just a big white piece of fabric and kind of create your own angle to get that fun, whimsical feel for that particular star.
Vanessa is big on her ombre stripes. And as you know, last time she had a just a big marbled ombre, but this is kind of her signature piece for this collection. A repeating stripe, repeats twice throughout the length of the goods, available in five different colorways. And she's also created several patterns that just use this alone. And then the coordinates. It's also available in a coated fabric, so for zipper bags, fun raincoats, and all kinds of other accessories. Uh, Bella solids are very popular in this market. We have over, we have 237 colors, and we continue to give you more and more ways to be able to use them. This is a new um, pattern vendor, and she happens to be, her name of her company is called Vintage Modern Quilts, and this is one of, her, one of three patterns that she has and is introducing at this particular quilt market. More uses for our Bella solids. Uh, happen to be featuring this quilt. It's kind of again carrying forth the theme of our whole entire project. Uh, we have the slice which includes 40 different um, Bella solids and each of the slice come with a pattern in included in it to make this quilt. All you need is your background fabric and what you want to use for your anchor and you have a ready-made little kit project to make with that. More Bellas. Again, lots of ways to use it. We have a 12-pack program and, and offer several different patterns on the workstations that are available to the customers. And uh, this particular one happens to be called Sunny Side of the Street. Let me show you another one that is uh, just a way that you can show and introduce interesting threads. Again, a wonderful range of color. This was quilted by Natalia Boner from Peace and Quilt, and she made a fantastic use of all different art fill threads, and that is from a collection from Angela Yoston that you can get all the different threads all in one set. But it has some big stitch quilting on it that's done before it's quilted, some thread work, and just a, a fun quilt to make in all different colors. And then she actually took her inspiration from the, for the front from the back fabric, so a lot of times that's where if you're looking for quilting ideas and pieces, use your fabric, your inspiration is your back piece. Our 12-pack patterns are started with the inspiration of using Bella solids and as a service to the stores to, for them to have patterns, but they're also great in some of any other basics. This particular collection happens to be weave, so it's a solid linen look, but the, has 100% cotton feel and easy ease in sewing. Great man's quilt. And this is a very, very popular basic line for us. Plum Sweet is the new collection by Blackbird Designs. And this particular quilt was made by Tammy Bonderschmidt. And uh, it's going to be a web pattern available on the modafabrics.com. Here, here is an example of the quilt that the Moda designers did at the schoolhouse. It is called Spell It With Fabric. And it come, all the instructions come in a nice little easy booklet, retails for $10. And the quilt is made using a jelly roll for the letters, and then your choice of fabrics for the backgrounds. Ducks in a Row is American Jane's newest collection. This particular quilt happens to be her block of the month. Uh, we're super excited to be introducing a block of the month program with primitive gatherings. It's the uh, pattern from Lisa is called Words to Live By, and it also features these beautiful, beautiful uh, wool appliques, and Lisa's going to share different ways and how easy that technique is to be able to do that particular thing. Each of them have wonderful family, courage, passion, charity, uh, so just a beautiful, beautiful quilt as our new block of the month. Ladies Album by Barbara Brockman. This is her, her newest collection that was inspired by uh, friendship quilts. And so this quilt was designed, it's one of a free project sheet on Moda's website, but then has uh, little signature places where uh, you can use as a signature quilt or because of the fabric placement, it's just as beautiful without the signatures.